Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Marvel Legends review for you. And this is kind of like a Spider-Man variety pack, so to speak. So, um... Semi-inspired by Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, where you see all sorts of different Spider-Men uh, from various dimensions and things. Well, we're going to be reviewing various Spider-Man toys. We have uh, something from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the animated movie, which was great. We have something from the Spider-Man video game for the PlayStation 4, which is also great. And then we have something from Spider-Man Homecoming, the Marvel Studios uh, movie in the MCU with Sony, which is also great. So lots of great Spider-Man stuff because Spider-Man is awesome. And I was like, you know what? Let's just put it all together into one big video. Um, actually, the way that it started really was I got the Marvel Legends uh, figure for the Spider-Man video game. Uh, and then I found this pack on clearance at Target, um, which, you know clearance went from 40 to 28 dollars so not that much of a dip but still i mean it's a really cool set and it's miles morales and spider gwen so i was like okay i gotta pick that up so i was like you know what let me just do a little combo pack together and just a couple days ago because i've had these for a while i found this set at target right here that has spider-man in that little jacket from spider-man homecoming along with mj and i was like all right well that's a really cool set so i wanted to get that too so long story short we're doing a whole variety of Spider-Man figures here, so let's just jump right to it. Let's take a look at the packaging. So, this Spider-Man figure I found at GameStop. I don't know if it's sold elsewhere. I've only seen this at GameStop. Um, so, if you are interested in it, check GameStop. Um, and I I love this suit. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, it's not my like favorite Spider-Man suit. I, I don't really know what is. Um, but it, it's definitely a really cool version of it. The video game is fantastic. Um, and so I was really glad to actually get a figure of this version. I think uh, it's definitely an interesting design. Um, and you can see, you know, kind of the full suit on the sides there. So I guess this is Marvel Gamerverse. They, I don't know if they have other figures in the series. Um, like, not Spider-Man related, but maybe other video games, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, but here it is, right here. So they have a little, uh, thing about the video game, so you can pause the video and read that if you would like, but there's the box. Um, so, pretty cool. I'm excited about, uh, checking out this figure. Um, my, my first initial impression is that the blue there is like this dark blue, um, that it just doesn't pop as well as it seems to in the actual game and in the pictures here. You see like this, like it looks a little shiny kind of, like it looks kind of nice. Here it looks a little dull. So, I don't know, my initial impression is, eh, you know, it's okay, but, um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll open it up. I don't want to judge yet until I open it up and truly see. Um, then you have this pack from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse right here. As you can see, this was a Target exclusive, so I got it on clearance, uh, right here. Um... So, uh, if you're able to find it, great, but this might be a little bit harder to find at this point. Um, fantastic move if you haven't seen it already. Love the animation style right there. Um, and so you can see the pictures on the side. Uh, so I'm excited to have some figures of these, of these characters. Um, although, I don't believe that Gwen had that hairstyle when she was Spider-Gwen, right? Like, did they just reuse an old uh, Gwen head that they had from a previous figure? Because I kind of wish that they would have given a head that reflects, you know, how she actually had her hair. Um, but anyways, on the back right there, again, it tells you about the characters. You can pause the video and, and read if you would like. Um, but I'm excited to uh, to open these up and and see what they're all about. And then the, the newest set that I got, which I think this is a brand new release, I think. Um... Because I just saw this at Target. I don't know if it was something that came out before. I feel like it's new. Because I think when I went to New York Toy Fair, I remember they were talking about an MJ figure that was going to be coming out. Which I assume is this. Uh, I think I saw it on display. Um, so this must be a new set. Or, or maybe not. I don't know. But regardless, it's from the first, you know, from the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming movie and uh it's cool i you know honestly i wasn't too big on getting a figure of this like with the jacket you know I was like okay whatever but having a figure of mj i thought was pretty cool um it's not i guess it's not mary jane it's just mj which i still think is kind of a weird thing for them to dodge around it like just call her mj who cares like it doesn't have to be mary jane whatever it doesn't even have to be mj i don't it's just the weird dodging around it was kind of odd but you have some pictures from the movie so it's kind of a, a nice touch 
to show, you know, some of that as well. Uh, and then at the back of the, the box as well, so you got some photos and the, the movie poster and everything. So you can pause it and read the bio if you would like, but uh, yeah. So five minutes of me talking, you're probably like, shut up and get to the actual toys. So let's do that and, uh, and check these out. All right, here they are out of the packaging, uh, and these figures are pretty cool. So let's start with the Spider-Man figure from the video game. So we're going to move these guys out of the way, um, and then let's jump into the uh, the video game Spider-Man right here. Um, I will say it does look a little bit better when I took it out of the box and kind of messed with it. Yeah, the blue is a little bit kind of dull or a little darker than at least I somewhat remember from the video game, or at least it doesn't seem to pop as well. Um, but it's not bad. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It definitely, you know, still does look, look pretty cool. So um, the whole white spider logo, definitely an interesting uh, design style. But I like it. And then you have the white on the, the, the hands right there, which are pretty cool. They have it painted on the back as well. Little white accents on the the um, the feet there as well. So pretty neat design overall. I definitely think it's uh, uh, pretty cool, and it looks really nice in motion too. If you have not played the Spider-Man game, like seriously, if you have a PlayStation 4, there's no excuse. If you don't have a PlayStation 4, I can I can understand it, but if you are a Spider-Man fan, try and find a way. It's so good. It just feels so nice to swing around and just. Uh, I need to get back to, to beating the DLC. I bought all the DLC and played some of it. Haven't beat it, but I beat the story, and it's it's pretty amazing. So, uh, here's the figure right here. Before we jump into the full figure and the articulation, I want to mention some of the other accessories that he comes with. So, you have alternate hands right here. So, uh, he came in the box with one fist and one um, hand like he's, like, you know, shooting out web. So, you have the alternate version, so I can put a fist in this hand or have the other hand be the web hand. So you can sort of mix and match. So I like when they when they do that. But what they also included, which is kind of weird to me, is the, the web. Uh, well, the fact that they included a web isn't weird because it's Spider-Man, you know, like it's cool to have something to design it after. But the way that it works, and maybe I'm just stupid and I can't figure this out, but like, I assume this just kind of slides over the hand and then like, does it just kind of sit on like that? Is that how it's supposed to go? It kind of stays in place there. And I guess you could like hook this onto something and then I would understand it. Um, I don't know, like I guess it kind of works like this. It just looks a little weird. But then again, I was trying to think about how I could do like a web thing. Like if I was trying to design something like this, I don't know how I would really do it any better. So I suppose this isn't that bad. Um, as long as you kind of like hook it on the, the thumb right there. Otherwise it just flops all around, doesn't really you know, work. But, you know, if you kind of hook it on like that, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to go or not, but it sort of works. And I could see, you know, this being hooked on something. So not too bad, um, but it is a little, took a little bit of messing around with to figure out how to, how to pose it just right. So you get two of them. So the nice thing is if you use both web hands, then you can, you know, have one on each or, or however you want to do it. So that's kind of nice. And these are pretty decent length as well. So um, I like having you know, um, options, right? So that's, that's always nice. So then as far as the articulation goes, um, it's going to be pretty standard for a, a Marvel Legends, uh, figure here, but the head's going to rotate and move up and down. Uh, you are going to have, um, if I can hold this in place, um, you know, rotation all the way around. You kind of saw that there. Um, but, yeah, so it does rotate all the way around. There we go. Okay. Um, but then it also moves in and out from this little piece right here, and that's what was kind of getting in the way. So um, you good range of motion there. Um, then you do have movement up and down right here. Uh, this piece rotates as well. Uh, you have a double joint right here at the elbow. Um, and then the hand, because it's removable, can rotate, but also can move in and out as well. So, um, actually a little bit more articulation than what I've seen with some other Marvel Legends, like right here in, um, in this upper arm shoulder area, sort of. Um, but, uh, yeah, good range of motion then, especially for Spider-Man, you know, moving his arms and posing them, pretty important. So I could definitely see where that would, would come in handy. Um, you do have some movement right up here as well. Um, and then the entire upper body does rotate. Um, 
But I always feel like that part's kind of weird because like if you're supposed to twist them like that, like look at his body, like that just kind of looks odd, you know? But it's there. It's, you know, most Marvel Legends can really do that. So um, it's a standard thing, but you know, leg movement. Um, they don't move apart that much, but, but they do a little bit. You have rotation here, double joint there, this whole sort of boot, I guess, but not really a boot, but it, it rotates. Uh, the foot goes up and down, and then also twists around pretty standard. So, good range of motion. Uh, you can really, again, customize and, and pose it however however you would like. So, that's certainly, certainly pretty nice. Um, real quick comparison in terms of other Spider-Man figures that I have. These are just ones that I was able to grab real quick. This was from a Spider-Man, uh, uh, or this was from a Captain America Civil War set, uh, this Spider-Man figure right here. Um, and so the nice thing about it is that obviously you can see the size difference a little bit. Um, the video game one is a little bit bigger, which makes sense because, he, you know, he's not in high school. He's, um, he's older. And so I kind of like that they are a slightly different size class too. Uh, like you can kind of see them side by side, you see that difference. Um, and that's what's another cool thing about Marvel Legends. If you get a bunch of different characters together, they're not all 100% exactly the same size, which they wouldn't be in, you know, in the movies or the shows or whatever anyway. So that actually kind of works. Um, and then I also have the Iron Spider here, but just to throw in another design. Um, so he's gone through many different suits and many different variations, but they're all pretty cool in their own way. And I definitely think this design is, is another real nice one. So there's that. Um, but then bringing in another movie that had plenty of great Spider-Man designs, we have the ones from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse right here. So let's start with our Miles Morales figure. Um... Really cool design here. Very simple. There's not much to it, but you know, as you saw in the movie, he sort of spray painted uh, his design on, and they actually did a really nice job at translating that into the figure. Like you can see, the whole design looks like it's spray painted. Even right here in the arms, you can see like little red dots above and below. Like it really looks like it was spray painted on, which is a really nice touch. Uh, they they really capture the essence of of that part of the suit. You know, the back right there as well. Really, really cool. Uh, but the figure is mostly black, little, you know, red um, on the fingers there. And then down in the feet, um, you can see it also kind of has that spray painted look to it as it sort of fades in. And then you have the red at the bottom. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and then, you know, of course the, the, uh, the mask as well. But um, I think, it's a very simple looking figure, but the suit design is very simple anyways, and they did a really nice job at translating um, the design from the movie into a figure form. Um, I think it definitely definitely looks pretty cool. Um, so we'll jump into articulation in a second. I just want to focus on the actual designs first. So we have Spider-Gwen here as well. So she's got like the uh, the little... Um, hood that can be moved around a little bit. Uh, it doesn't come down fully, but you can take it off if you wanted to. You just sort of attach the hood on and then attach the head. Um, and you can even see kind of inside it, you have the little design. Um, but she's got like the pink around the eyes there. Um, another really interesting design, sort of this almost all black down here with the white on top, little white accents uh, going around. Um, and then the, kind of the same little cross design right there that's on the inside of the hood uh, you have right here um, on the under part of the arm. So there's that. Um, on the back as well you have kind of the, the white, almost like little white lightning bolts which is definitely kind of interesting. Um, and then you have sort of the little bit of green at the bottom there as well. So uh, yeah, overall a very interesting design. I, I think it definitely uh, lended itself well to animation especially, um, but it's cool to have a, a figure of that design as well. So, as far as ac uh, accessories go, you have a variety of accessories. One thing that I thought was kind of funny is this little piece right here that they give, uh, which I'm not sure what it's supposed to be in the context of these figures, but this is the exact effects piece that comes with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection uh, Dino Charge Red Ranger with Tyler. So. 
I saw that and I was like, you know, I've seen this before. And it's just kind of funny, that sort of moment of, not, not realization because I knew it, but just like that, huh, they really are all done by Hasbro, Power Rangers and Marvel, now all under the same roof, which is really, really cool for the toys. So uh, I just had that little moment when I saw this. But as far as what this is supposed to be here, it's I don't think it's supposed to be web. It's like, I, I don't really know. Like, I guess it can wrap around the arms. I, I, don't, I don't know what the context is here to be used with these figures. I guess you can figure out how you want to use it. It's not really web because then you do have web pieces right here, which aren't blue. So here are the web pieces. And these are very similar to the web pieces that came with the uh, the video game one right here, except uh, instead of being this like long um, piece right there, uh, I mean, they're actually pretty much the same. Um, in the box, it kind of came a little folded like this. So I think it's supposed to be like the same piece, but because they kind of folded it, you might have to mess with it a little bit to uh, maybe like warm it up a little so that it stretches out if you want it to be the full long thing. Cause as is like this, like that just doesn't really make that much sense. Like why would you have a web that slings back at you? I don't know. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but you have this piece right here. And so you only, yeah, you do have both. Um, so you have two pieces. So if you wanted to display both of these, they could only have one each. Um, if you wanted, you know, one character to have two, the other one couldn't have anything unless you use the pieces from the, you know, the video game one, if you had that as well. So in terms of how he holds it, then just like how I was saying earlier, it is a little awkward. I think here, the Miles Morales figure kind of works still because you can sort of wrap it around the thumb and it, and it, you know, somewhat works. And then, of course, just stretch this out or something because otherwise it just looks kind of weird. Um, but the the Spider-Gwen figure doesn't fare as well with it. Um, her hands are a little small. And so, like, you'll see, you can kind of do it, right? And so it sort of works like that. But... If you, if you kind of move it around too much, it's, it's a little more loose because her hands are smaller. So you really kind of have to get it in just right uh, in this exact position to have her hold the, the web properly. So keep that in mind. Um, so you'll lose a little bit of posability with the webs um, because you really have to hold it in one position so it doesn't fall off. Um, then, the, as far as other accessories, you have alternate hands for Miles Morales. So right now he's got like this open hand and then like a web hand right so instead you have two fists right here so um it would have been nice to have like another web hand or kind of mixing and matching like that um but instead you get two fists so if you want to do that instead um i suppose that sort of answers the question of how come you only have two of these because i guess he would have one and then spider gwen would have one because there's only one web web hand for each she does not come with any other hands so she is permanently stuck in the one fist one web hand uh formation so keep that in mind um, and then you also have their actual like faces, those heads, which I'll get to in a second, but I'm going to do the articulation first. So let's, let's, let's talk about that. So, uh, in terms of articulation here then, so the head is going to rotate around, um, doesn't really move. Oh, I guess. Yeah. It kind of does move up and down a little bit. Um, there you go. Uh, the arm rotates around and also moves up about that much. Um, this one does not have that piece that moves the arm in and out from the, the chest right there. Uh, but you have rotation right here. Uh, then you have double joint elbow right there. Um, and then of course the hand will, will rotate and then also move in and out as well. So there you go. Uh, you have movement right here. Upper body twists around. Legs move forward. Back a little bit. Not too much uh, to the sides. It does twist around. Uh, double joint right there. This whole piece rotates. And then movement um, up and down and also twisting around. So, very standard for Marvel Legends. Main difference with this one and then the Spider-Man figure we just looked at is the, um, the chest piece uh, movement in and out. Uh, then for Spider-Gwen... Um, again, it's going to be very similar. Uh, the whole piece rotates around, as I mentioned. Uh, there you go. Movement upwards. Hers does move a lot higher up, though. Um, and then she has a single joint at the elbow instead of a double joint. 
um, but then the arm does rotate around and moves in and out. So, uh, and then you also don't have a rotation right here in the arm. Um, the upper body kind of twists around a little bit, but it does not have that full sort of ab crunch, and the whole upper body does not uh, rotate around from up here. Uh, from at the very top, it does though. Um, the legs move forward a little bit, move out about that much, rotation here, double joint at the knee, um, this whole piece rotates, and then the feet move around as well. So the, um, the leg articulation is going to be pretty much the same, but the upper body quite different um, from the Miles Morales, but similar to other Marvel Legends figures, um, female figures that we've seen in the past. They tend to have a little bit less articulation. Um, so there you have that. So then in terms of the actual um, alternate heads that I was talking about, so Miles Morales, of course, comes with his head right here. So we'll put that right on and zoom in. And he looks really cool. Um, again, I think they did a great job at capturing the essence of, of the character. Um, and he looks, he looks pretty nice. I do think... Like, from the front, it looks a little bit better. From the side here, it does kind of look like his neck is a little too long. Um, but it's still not too bad. Uh, and I think overall, especially from the front, it looks fine. Really, really cool. I, I think Miles was such a great character. And to have his face right here with the suit and stuff, I think, is is, is pretty awesome. So there you have that. And then, as far as Spider-Gwen goes, um, you can pop off the head. And like I was saying earlier, the head is sort of separate from the hood. So you can technically put this on without the hood, um, but really when you when you attach it, you just sort of hold the head in there and then plug it in like that. Uh, but she has this head right here, which is not the hairstyle that she had in the movie while wearing the suit, which is really what bums me out. Um, so this I'm not as big of a fan of. Um, in fact, looking at it now, I'm realizing that this looks a lot like, um, and I'm blanking on her name, but the Gwen Stacy from the uh, Amazing Spider-Man movies with Andrew Garfield. Um, I know the actress. I'm blanking on her name completely, but that actually looks a lot like her, which makes me think they 100% just reuse that same head that they must have released with a figure of her in the past. Um, you guys know who I'm talking about, but the the movie with Andrew Garfield, that Gwen Stacy. So yeah, that's that's that really sucks. I, I really wish they would have released a head sculpt of the one from the animated movie. Uh, maybe is this Miles Morales from something else? I don't know. This actually looks like the Miles Morales from the movie, um, but this is just that sucks, man. Come on. Uh, anyways, so we're just gonna take that off then because you know. This certainly looks more like the one from the movie. But there you have it. I think it's a, a cool figure of Spider-Gwen if you're going to display it like this. The civilian head's a disappointment. But Miles Morales, though, definitely looks, looks pretty sweet. So I'm happy with that. But then we have one more set here to look at. So let me move some stuff out of the way here and get things ready. All right. So this is the new Spider-Man Homecoming set, even though Spider-Man Far From Home is coming out. And yes, I do have some of the Marvel Legends for Far From Home pre-ordered on Hasbro Pulse. Um, I didn't buy the whole set. I'm only getting a couple of them, but uh, um, I do have those pre-ordered. So stay tuned for those when they when they release. But uh, you have the Spider-Man and MJ figures. So let's take a look at Spider-Man here. And uh, you know, I didn't think that I would want this, and I really got this set because of the MJ figure. But it's actually not bad. Um, it actually is kind of cool, and and I think my my reason for that is one, I love the regular Spider-Man suit from the Homecoming movie, and what I think about this is that blue looks so nice. Like that blue and red combo. Just looks really, really cool. I, I think that looks awesome. Um, and then the way they did the jacket actually looks really cool. Like the material, uh, sort of the design, the detail they put on it. So it just basically looks like one of my favorite Spider-Man suits. 
and he's wearing this cool jacket, which it looks great in the movie, don't get me wrong. I didn't think I needed a toy of it, but I'm very happy that I have a toy of it now. You know, like it actually does look really, really cool. So zooming in here, let's take an up close look. Um, so yeah, it's, it's that Spider-Man suit from Homecoming uh, with kind of like the black lines around the sides, the tiny little black spider. You got that blue, which looks so nice. Look at that blue, that, that's a gorgeous blue. Blue is my favorite color. Um, I love the, the suit design, the black lines there, and it just, it really looks nice. Um, I am a fan. Uh, one thing to note is this jacket, it does not, I mean, you may be able to force it off somehow, but it's not meant to come off. His arms are the jacket arms. So even if you were to so somehow get this off, it's not like they just had the regular Spider-Man figure and they just put a jacket on him. No, they actually, like the jacket sleeves are his arms, as you can see, like the yellow there. So keep that in mind. Um, but then, yeah, in terms of the actual jacket, um, one, just look at the detail on like the zipper right there. Like that's actually not, not too bad. Uh, you even got the this logo here. Let's see if I can zoom in enough and and read it, try and get the camera to focus properly, maybe, possibly. That's the best I'm gonna be able to do. Um, I can't read this on camera, but I, I think it actually has all the words written out right there. Um, I don't, let me see, sorry, this is, it's hard to see with a camera in my face. Um, yeah, no, totally it does. Uh, something school of science and anyways, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that, but yeah, it totally does. So that's actually real nice. They got nice and, and detailed in there, which is, which is cool. Um, but it, it's a nice, nice solid yellow. You got the little buttons and stuff there on the jacket and yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I think it, it definitely looks, looks pretty nice in terms of articulation. Then the head rotates around, moves up and down. The arms rotate, moves up a decent amount as well. Rotation here, double joint, um, and then the hand, of course, has pretty standard movement there. Um, you can actually move the upper body up and down there, and it all rotates around. Um, so even with the jacket, that actually doesn't hinder any of the articulation. So they did a great job with that. The legs move forward. Uh, they move to the side about the same amount as all the other Spider-Man figures as well. Rotation here as well, double joints. Um, the only difference is this boot part does not rotate, um, but the feet do move up and down and twist around. So still pretty great. I think it, it definitely looks really, really nice. All right, so then we have the MJ figure as well. Uh, by the way, this, if I didn't say it before, this is a Target exclusive pack, I believe. So if you're looking for this, go check out your local Target store. Um, it just came out recently, I think. So, uh, this is a pretty cool figure. Um, definitely, you know, sort of captured the the style of the character pretty well um, with the jacket. They did a real nice job with the face. Like, that is, that is Zendaya's face right there. Like, they did a real nice job. Um, it looks, looks pretty great. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, you can see the hair and everything. They just, ah. They just, Hasbro really does a, a fantastic job at these sculpts, man. They just look so nice. Um, and look, her, her suit right now, her costume, or it's not really much of a costume, right? Her clothes, I guess I should say, very simple, right? There's not much to it. Um, honestly, it was more just for the face sculpt I thought was really, really cool. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to have more characters like this, you know? It's nice to have those... Um, those designs so pretty cool uh, she does unfortunately have the like product number thing or whatever in white there but whatever it's fine if that's if that's the one thing to complain about you know like who cares um, yeah definitely looks looks pretty good I like the character of MJ and I'm excited to see it looks like she has a bigger role in far from home and hopefully going forward I, I I really do I just thought it was weird before the movie came out that they were like is she Mary Jane she's not but is she maybe I'm like like okay she doesn't have to be just her name's Michelle or whatever but she's MJ that's fine she's MJ great but like why are you playing around it like it wasn't a big reveal you know I just thought that was kind of weird um but 
Let's take a look at the articulation. Head rotates around, even with all the hair there. Uh, arms move around, move up. You have a single joint at the elbow, and then the hands rotate around and move in and out as well. Um, she does have rather large fingers. That does look slightly off, but I don't know. Um, and then the as far as the upper body movement, um, it's going to be very similar to the Spider Gwen figure, where um, uh, you know you might be able to. I don't want to mess this up too much or loosen it too much, but I think you can rotate that top body part all the way around. But this is all one solid piece right there. Uh, her legs actually do move apart quite a bit. Uh, she moves, kicks forward, rotation there, double joint, um, and then the feet, you know, rotate around and all that jazz. So yeah, definitely looks pretty good. So in terms of extra accessories that we have here, Spider-Man comes with um, the opposite set of hands. So you have a fist and then like the spider web hand. So you have the opposites now. So spider web hand here, fist for there. So that, that's pretty nice. Um, MJ comes with, so she has a fist here and sort of this open um, hand on the left. So she comes with some various, like, random ones. So this left hand, that's like almost like she's grabbing something, but I don't, there's no accessory for her to grab, but she has that option, I guess. I don't know, that's kind of odd. Um, and then you have uh, an alternate right hand where she's doing, like, this thing. I don't, I don't really know what it is. She's going like that, I don't, I don't know. These are some weird choices, but whatever. You know, I guess it's nice to have extra options. So, um, yeah, so there's that. But she also comes with an alternate head uh, with a different hairstyle. She's got a ponytail right there. So um, alternate hairstyle, and she's kind of got a bit of a smirk on her face, um, which uh, which is pretty cool. So let's let's try this out. Okay. And there you go. So now she's kind of got that sort of smirk right there. Again, they really captured the essence of Zendaya, of Zendaya super well. This is Zendaya, Zendaya, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, I've seen her on shows since Disney Channel with, um, was it Shake It Up? Is that what it was called? Um, so it's, it's cool to see her in the Spider-Man movies now. But yeah, there you have it, guys. So lots of different figures, lots of Spider-Man figures representing the video game, the animated movie, the MCU movie. Um, it's a good time to be a Spider-Man fan. He's my favorite comic book superhero, and these figures are, are really cool. So definitely check them out if you are interested in those respective things. Um, and then speaking of Spider-Man, we got Spider-Man Far From Home on the way soon. I will have reviews of a couple of those Marvel Legends figures. I basically got the Mysterio figure and then the couple of Spider-Man suits that released, and I think that's it. I didn't get all the extra stuff. I'm not doing the Build-A-Figure for that line. I just wanted the ones that I thought were pretty cool. So stay tuned for those. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later.